Hey there, it's Dr. Jim. Thanks for taking some uh, time out of your busy schedule and your day to hear about what's on my mind, what I'm reading and researching, and what I'm writing about. Doing so much. Um, just sat down with uh, one of our gurus in our, in our company and asked him, how many new courses do you think we've developed? And he said, uh, probably 100 this year. Um, so keep coming back <laughs> to collinslearning.com, ceu.academy, uh, to my blog, drjimcollins.com, and stay in touch with me. Email me, jim at collinslearning.com. Um, I have so many you know, groupings and clusters of topics that I think about, talk about, research, and write about. But today, I want to share with you one of my favorite things to talk about, and it's leadership. Because I firmly believe without leadership, we probably have nothing. Uh, I would rather have no leadership than poor, terrible, destructive leadership, that's for sure. Um, so I spend my time researching, you know, best practices in leadership, the most effective forms of leadership out there. And I'm always finding new information. Uh, the well never runs dry on this particular type of topic. Um, something that I've been looking into and actually talking about at conferences is transcendent leadership. So I'd like to talk to you about transcendent leadership and why it works. Okay, so leadership is not about wanting to become a leader. Instead, it's granted to you because you possess a strong and positive impact on other people. They see something in you that attracts them and they believe in and therefore they follow. While most people don't become a transcendent leader overnight. There are talents and there are skills to build upon which can help someone reach this high level. This is not an entry level form of leadership. This is not a middle of the road form of leadership. What I'm talking about is a very high level of leadership. Transcendent, think of the word, to transcend, to go above above and beyond myself, to go outside of myself and to focus on everybody else. I'm transcending the self. Transcendent leaders have passion and they have energy that leads outwards to other people who can reap many benefits and many rewards of being around this type of leader. Isn't that somebody you want to be around? So what is transcendent leadership? Let's talk about this. One of the highest forms of leadership, transcendent leadership, is about rising above your own interests in order to serve others as best as you can. It's about self-transcendence and being driven by things like purpose, having it an internal drive, and of course, being very honest and very transparent. What you see is what you get, and I think that's really important because that, that's the basis of trust. It can be so powerful that it literally transforms the, nat the, um, the nature of relationships between the leader and followers placing everybody involved on a flat, equal playing field. We're all in it. In essence, it's built upon a genuine partnership between the leader and others that can be characterized by a shared vision, unified purpose, a shared meaning, and what they're going to do and where they're going to go. Where are they going? Transcendence literally equals service to others. Another way to talk about this type of relationship is simply to replace the word transcendent with servanthood. Another form of leadership I, I really appreciate. Servanthood. 
as such, it's not so much about oversight or holding a position over other people or even the ability to direct anybody or manage anybody. It has far more to do with a deep commitment to serve. And through this, others see that their leaders truly have their best interests in mind. Transcendent leader doesn't think about his or her own best interests, self-interests, but those of others. They become stewards of other people and their lives and their actions, their efforts. So how to become this great leader? How do we do this? A strong interest in becoming a better le leader, of course, is always the first step, right? You have to say to yourself, what kind of leader am I? Can I be better? Of course, we could always be better. We could always communicate better. We could always be better at forming relationships and maintaining them. We could always be more honest. And we can always be better leaders. So you ask yourself, do I want to do this? If the answer is yes, then you learn. And it might take months or years of dedication, persistence, and honing your skills and abilities. But here are some areas to work on, okay? This is a checklist. You might want to grab a pen, a little pad, and jot some of these things down, particularly if you think you need to work on these areas, okay? Number one, active listening. Now, I talk for a living, and it does take me great effort to shut my mouth. <laughs> I'm Italian, Catholic. Irish from Youngstown. I kissed the Blarney Stone at the Castle Blarney in Blarney, Ireland. Um, but I, I do know that God gave me two ears and only one mouth so that I would talk less and listen more. That's active listening. Listening to the words and the emotion and the content and the context behind those words. Empathy. Transcendent leaders empathize with the positions and the realities that others find themselves in. Awareness of others around you. Emotional intelligence is big. Foresight. What do I think is coming around the corner? Where are we going with this? What might be the outcomes if we do this? The ability to persuade others. Do you have that ability? Are you persuasive? Were you persuasive and you no longer are persuasive? The ability to conceptualize. Let's think about this. Let's bring it down to reality. And let's think about this in a grander way. Commitment to the growth of others, not just yourself. To care about building community and a desire to heal. Those are all important. One of the defining differences among transcendent leaders and others is they make sure that other people's highest priority needs are being served. And they ask questions like the following. Do those served grow as people? Do the followers become healthier, wiser, freer, more autonomous, and more likely to become servant leaders themselves? In other words, transcendent leaders are other-oriented. They don't focus on their own self-interests, but instead, they transcend over and above them. Now, there will be benefits to this type of leadership over time and with continual effort. The benefits of transcendent leadership can be seen everywhere within an organization. Teams can become more motivated and committed to work for someone who delivers such a high level of leadership. It's almost a no-brainer, okay, that happier staff will deliver the goods, and increase productivity. They'll engage more 
They'll become more embedded and emotionally involved. Leadership can rise to new heights by working on their emotional, intellectual, physical, and spiritual health. Transcendent leaders do take care of themselves so that they can best serve others in healthy ways, okay? Here's some benefits. Being heard and listened to. Detoxifying the workplace. Truly empowering staff. Building self-confidence in others. Becoming a better decision maker. Collaboration. Inclusivity. High performance. Decreased turnover. Doesn't that sound good? Recruiting becomes easier. Lowering absenteeism. Work-life balance. And I just wrote a whole article on that and shot a whole video on work-life balance. So check that out. And what's very important in any business? Profits. Greater profits. You have to make money. We have to make money to keep people on payroll and to keep the lights on. My final thoughts. Although there are numerous styles of leadership and techniques for becoming a better leader out there, one particular type of leadership stands out among all of them, and that is transcendent leadership. It literally means to go above and beyond your own self and focus on serving others. And in doing so, people will see that their best, their best interests are being served. And when they do, they will become more committed. Oh, that's all I got for now. Keep coming back for more. I'm Dr. Jim. See you later. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for your time. If you'd like more information about a great online learning management system with the most wonderful support, best in class support and partnering, please look for the link to the website in the description. You'll love what you see.